welcome back to another video. You recognize the setup, this wet hair from the shower and this shirt. Well, you guessed right. I'm filming a video back to back. I kind of like doing it if I can, just because I'm already here. I'm already in the mindset. I'm already in the mood, all that fun stuff. And I get very excited for this video because I, if you haven't guessed, or duh, you've seen the title and the thumbnail, I've been very into perfumes, so scent bird and scent box comparisons and smells are my favorite because I love to check out what I'm getting. So without further ado, I do have both of those boxes. Before I open them though, go ahead and subscribe if you have not. Hit that bell if you like comparison videos or perfume content. Comment any future ideas you'd like to see down below and turn on that bell because I have a ton of content filmed. I just need to push it out and it will be coming, I promise. But let's get into it. So the first one we're gonna open is scent bird. For those of you who have not seen my previous scent bird versus scent box videos, I do choose my own scents from both of them. I do the two scent package from each of them, which retails around $25, and I add all my own scents to the queue. I would be interested in trying like a random scent that they send, but I also have scents I want to try, so kind of putting that first. But without further ado, I have my scent bird package open here. With your, again, for any of my new viewers, if you have not, your first box of Scentbird, you get a little canister to put the scent in. I opted to not get a new one every month because I think it's like $10. And for how much you can actually buy them like on Amazon, it's not worth it. But, so they just come in these cardboard packaging. So they look like this. So the first scent we have is Calvin Klein Endless Euphoria. Let's smell her. There we go. Honestly, pretty into this. It's giving me very holster vibes, but like in a good way. Like that smells really nice. I, I really like that one. So that's our first scent. Okay, I'm excited. I haven't put any like body spray or perfume on today. I was saving it because I knew I wanted to film this and I wanted to smell what I'm, I got. So we'll see what I'm gonna wear. Next one is Rachel Zoe Fearless. Oh my God. This, oh. Like a bakery, vanilla, like warm sugar. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, that's that might be the scent we're wearing today. That might be. And then we're gonna open this scent box. Don't worry. Oh wait, did I get cards? Oh yes, I did. Oh yes, I did, I'm stupid. So, ooh, she's cute. So this is the Calvin Klein card. It has, oh, this is definitely not. Eh, mm, might be a gender neutral scent. So this has cherry blossom, mandarin, syringa, sir, yeah, syringa, it's a flower, bamboo, and bear musk accord. I, I love when I get the cards. I always forget, like, it didn't feel like when I pulled those out that there were cards in it. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Okay, first of all, she is cute. The Fearless has ca cassis, looks like a berry, coconut shavings, definitely smell coconut, Tumor rose, little floral, not really, amber and vanilla, spot on. I am obsessed with this scent, 10 out of 10. All right, all right, scent box, you got some competition this month. So the little thing that came with the scent box, they're recommending the Marc Jacobs rain scent and the Hugo Boss, but they're both, so the Hugo Boss is a men's and Marc Jacobs is a female. I actually kind of want to try that. I might add that to my queue. That actually sounds pretty up my alley. So we get just a tiny little box this time and they do come in the canisters I was referring to. I like these. So I've been noticing that the last two ones were purple and black and they had like accents matching and there was a red and black one with matching. These are not matching, but I'm okay with it. So what do we have here? So this one just says fearless. It doesn't even have a brand. That's kind of weird. I'll have to look it, I'll look it up. Oh, you know what? I think this is Abercrombie. Oh, I think this is Abercrombie. Oh, oh, I think this is Abercrombie. I'm betting that this is Abercrombie. This smells amazing. Love that. Okay, this one is DKNY Be Delicious. I didn't love the one from last month, so hopefully this one smells a little bit better. Oh, that Abercrombie is so strong over here that I'm gonna have to spray this one this way. Oh, I like that one a lot better. Last month it was a little too mature grandma-ish. 
This one is really nice. Okay, hold on. Let me grab the iPad. There's a, a lot of scents going on right now. My allergies are kicking up. Okay, so we need to look up scent box. What did we get? Where's the login? Yep, so Fierce is Abercrombie and Fitch and it is a masculine scent. I just wanted something different, you know? So it has top notes of deep green, cardamom, lemon, orange, fir, and sea notes. Middle notes are jasmine, rosemary, rose, lily of the valley, and sage. And base notes are vetiver, musk, oak moss, Brazilian, rosewood, and sandalwood. It just has a very nice masculine scent. I definitely like it a lot. And then our D-A-D-N-K-Y, D-K-N-Y is a female scent with looks like cucumbers, grapefruit, apples, two different types of flowers. And yeah, I mean, I like that one. However, I'm gonna give it to Scent Bird this month. This, this is the scent I'm wearing today. That just got in my mouth. This, oh my God, like tropical and feminine and like, I guess I was thinking bakery because of the vanilla, but now that I know that there's coconut accent in it, I can definitely smell it. This gets a 10 out of 10. Like this would be a scent I would repurchase. The Rachel Zoe Fearless. The Calvin Klein Endless Eupor Euphoria. Again, a 10 out of 10 scent. It's amazing. And then the Fearless Abercrombie scent is to die for. I like high school me would have been all about this. And that's kind of why I wanted, I want to also get scents that like bring up nostalgia for me. I haven't shopped at Abercrombie in years, but like I smell this scent and I know. My first instinct was, I don't think it's holster because I don't remember adding a holster scent, but mm, like that's a good scent. And then this D K N Y. I actually really like as well. But those are our four scents for the month. Uh, yeah, I've got to give it to, to Scentbird though. Again, what I will say, I picked out my own scents. So it's nothing in part of them. But I also don't know what these scents smell like when I get something. Yeah, I have an idea because it tells me like the note when I pick them out. However, I'm just guessing and hoping that I'm gonna like them. Like last month when I picked out the D, K, N, Y other scent, I picked it out and I didn't love it. So I mean, that's kind of on me, but I'm experimenting with scents. When I compare these two, I like to compare the scents because both of them offer different options of brands. They don't offer the exact same scents. And so I'm kind of picking up and choosing at random. And I just happen to like this month scent bird better. So it's really gonna be when it comes to scent bird and scent box is what scent are you looking for? What brand are you looking for? And kind of go off of that. And for me, I want to try numerous scents. So I subscribe to both and I get four cents a month, which they are very small and they're supposed to be a 30 day supply. As you can tell, like me just sampling these scents. This isn't even the one that I'm wearing. This is the DK and Y. Just a few sprays to smell it already moves it down quite a bit. So you're not getting a crazy amount of product. That would be also something to take into account. And eventually I probably will as well. So I should probably listen to my own advice. But if there's, you want to test a couple scents and then stop. So then that way you can like, oh, I really like this scent. Let me go ahead and commit and buy a bottle. Because some of the bottles are expensive, which I can see myself buying this scent. 110% buying that scent. But this is just kind of a gateway to get into the perfume world and trying different scents. Either for different moods, different occasions, or to see what you actually like. Because I didn't know 100% what I liked. So this is a nice fun way to experiment with scents. <laughs> because all I ever do is play with makeup and clothes. So it's nice to play with scents and see what I like. And also scents can either set your mood or improve your mood. So if you're already kind of in a, a flirty mood, you might wear like a flirty perfume to just like keep up that feeling. Or if you're kind of feeling down and you want to feel a little better, maybe wear something that kind of makes you feel good. So I love scents. It's kind of a new favorite passion of mine. I would love to have like a little rack to put them all on. Maybe one day. But I've got too many body sprays I need to get through. So all of these normally have been being saved and I save them all for like special occasions. And I'm getting through all my body sprays first. 
and then I will like use my perfumes more. So having just little guys is also nice instead of having full bottles taking up water room. So that's all I've got for this video today, guys. All my socials are linked down below. The podcast is linked down below. My Poshmark and Macari are linked down below. <laughs> Anything you could probably think of and you're looking for it's going to be linked down below. But that's all I got for today. Subscribe if you have not. Turn on that bell because I've been filming content like crazy and I promise it will be pushed out. I will force myself to edit it so that it gets pushed out. Comment any future ideas you like to see down below and like this video if you like perfume content or videos where I compare different brands and like subscription boxes and that type of thing. Just so I know what you guys like so I know what to push out more. But that's all I got for today guys. Till next time.